JoeVardenCleveland.com. Is uh, Corver okay? Um, as of right, he said he felt okay, but he hasn't got checked by the doctor yet. So he said it was a little scarier than than it really really happened. What really happened? So um, hopefully he's okay, but he hasn't got checked by the doctor yet. Was it a knee or an ankle? Knee. Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. Did Kyle say that he banged it on the stanchion, banged it on the floor, or twist no, it? No, he just what said, he said it was straight, and then I guess one of the guys fell and banged it, or one of the guys who fell into him banged his knee, so I don't know. Dave McMenamin, ESPN. Outside of the end result, how do you judge your team on nights when LeBron doesn't play? Um, we're missing LeBron, Kevin, and JR. You know, um, I thought we competed. You know, they just they had a little bit more than we did tonight. Um, you know, first half, I think we had 17 assists, and then they kind of just took away our pin down stuff with Kyle Corver switching out, trying to take that away. And, um, you know, we weren't able to make and run the same offense that we ran early in that first half. But overall, I thought we did a good job just competing, and um, they kind of pulled away at the end. You know, Jimmy Butler got going, you know, D Wade, um, you know, having 20 points and 10 rebounds, almost a triple double. So, I mean, 10 assists and 9 rebounds, almost he a triple double. Time. Huh? He said he wishes he had 10. <laughs> Who do we? Yeah, he had nine. I know. Well, oh, oh okay. <laughs> I didn't see that. Okay. With the news today that that uh, Darren Williams is is gonna come and join you guys very soon, um, is it easy to say that he would have made a difference in a night like tonight when you had to go to Liggins and and K at the point? Is that is that too easy of a? No, I mean you can't say that. I mean. Um, K and, and, and Legs, they haven't been playing. You know, they haven't been playing consistent minutes. Um, haven't really been in the rotation. So to, you know, ask those guys to come in and play great. I mean, it's, it's going to be tough. You know, and so they, I mean, they gave us what they had, and you know, made a couple of mistakes, but that's just part of the game. Marla, right now, Akron Beacon Journal, the Bulls are three and zero against you. Is there anything to that, uh, the matchup <coughs> wise, or anything? Yeah, player wise. Last home game, Kevin and Kyrie didn't play. And then tonight, you know, Kevin, Brown, and JR didn't play. So, no, I don't see anything there. Uh, Matt Medley, Metro Networks. Have you thought yet about what roles uh, Felder and Liggins will have when you do add Williams, if they'll still get minutes or how that's going to work out? Well, over the um, past few games, they haven't gotten minutes. So, yeah. you know, when we add Williams, um, you just got to keep working and just stay ready. You never know what happens. And um, I like those two guys. They work hard every single day. And they just haven't really had a, you know, a fair chance to get consistent minutes every night. So it's tough on them, especially being young players. And that's just, just learn from them and just continue to keep getting better. Ty, you mentioned Kay. He looked frustrated in the first half. Then in the second half, you went with DeAndre <coughs> instead of him. So what can you say to a young guy like Kay tonight after the first half that he had? Well, I just talked to him, you know, throughout the timeouts. He got frustrated because, you know, when you play, you know that you're a better player, player than what you're playing. You know, it's frustrating. You know, you can do more. But, I mean, as a young player, you're going to make mistakes. You just got to learn from it. You know, watch film. You know, be cerebral and just get better. And I know he's frustrated because he wanted to play well, which everyone does. And I thought the second half going with Liggs, just try to – so we, if they went with D-Wade, we can put him on D-Wade, put Corver on Rondo or Jerry and Grant. So um, just a little switch up. But, I mean, nothing that Kay did wrong. Like you don't expect him to be great when he hasn't played in so long. So just, you know, continue to stay positive. Just keep working. Hi, Rick Nolan, Medina Gazette. I think you went up six early in the third period, and then they went on a 17-2 run where you missed, I believe, eight of your next nine shots. Um, defensively and offensively, what did you see change in that period? Um, well, like you said, we missed shots. Um, I thought we got sped up a little bit. Um, we didn't move the ball as good as we did in the first half. And... Um, so when you don't move the basketball, you take, you know, sometimes unexpected shots, it's hard to get back in transition defense, you know, to get back and set your defense. So I'm going to have to look at the tape, but, you know, I know, you know, first half we did a great job of moving the basketball, moving bodies. In second half, we kind of got stagnant. So I don't know if it was tired or what. I guess they said on TV that LeBron has strep throat. Is that true? Mm-hmm. Pre-game, I don't think you necessarily knew exactly the extent of it. Does that change the timeline in your in your mind for 
for him it sounds more serious. I knew what it was. Okay, well then, yeah, I just then, said he was okay, sick. Right. I mean, does that does Chapter Fruit come with any sort of... I don't know. Sort of? I don't know. <laughs> Muy bien, la tiene LeBron y se va a ir hasta adentro. LeBron la clava dos con fuerza. A la izquierda para Colbert, solito de tres en camino. Sí, señor. Deja la marca de Thompson. Taponazo de Tristan Thompson. ¡Monstruo! Uno contra uno contra Brines, Kyrie Irving, busca el crossover, qué lindo, de reversa, Kyrie Irving.